PeachTools.com. G'day guys, great to see you here again today. Me to annoy you again. Hey, a lot of you fellas are new to plasma cutting and MIG welding and that sort of stuff. So I thought I'd do a really quick video today, just showing you fellas, if you're using solid core wire on your MIG welder, and you want to do it without gas, I'll show you what happens guys, because some of you guys don't even realise that you have to have gas when you're MIG welding. Well, you don't really have to have gas, you can have use a gasless wire, but that's for another video, I'll do that later. But anyway guys, I'll show you what happens, gasless MIG welding. Anyway guys, same as usual, like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, come say hi Pete, peachtools.com. And let's get into this, eh, guys? So, guys, if you've been watching any of my videos, you know I just run a cheap 250 amp inverter welder from China. Just a generic machine. I find it goes really, really good. I started a business with this, and uh, it's done me well over the years. But anyway, that's not what we're talking about today. I run this on CO2 as a shielding gas, and but you can also run it with no gas. On this plug here, you see that? No gas. And then this one here... If you look down there guys, you hope you can see that, that's gas. So it gives you both options. And most of these uh, little welders give you the same sort of options. Either you can use gasless wire, or you can use a solid core wire and use some sort of shielding gas. Like I say, I'm using CO2. Now today I want to show you what happens if you're using a solid wire, but you're not using any sort of shielding gas whatsoever. So there's my welder guys. We'll go up the top there and I'll show you my CO2 bottle up the top here. There he is. So as you can see guys, I'm running quite a large bottle of CO2 because I used to do a hell of a lot of welding making dumpsters. Every day I'd make dumpsters or repair dumpsters and that sort of stuff. So I needed a big gas bottle. I originally I had a smaller gas bottle, but I found that it was too expensive to fill. You'd think that the volume of gas is the price you pay for it, but it's not really. It's, I found it was the size of the bottle. So I changed my little bottle to a big bottle and this is much cheaper to fill. That's what I found anyway. Maybe in your country it might be a little bit different, but it certainly isn't um, here. And I also brought this bottle. I didn't rent the bottle because you can rent these bottles if you want. But you tend to pay more for rental than what it costs you to fill it up. So I just brought this bottle. Anyway, guys, that's the side. This is CO2. And I have a CO2 regulator here. And it actually has a heater in it. And the heater plugs into the back of my welder down here. It's a 36 volt heater. Because the CO2 comes out almost frozen out of your mid torch, this little heater here heats it up. So it's not quite as cold when you start welding and the weld just goes a little bit better. Because you have to have some sort of shielding, that's what I found anyway. Now guys, when I turned my CO2 on, you see that little thing just bumps, bounced up and down here a little bit. And what happens is, when I pull the trigger on the torch, hope you guys can see this, you watch this little ball here, it goes up and that tells me how much gas is coming out of the end of my torch. So if you watch this guys, see that there? Can you see that little ball there guys? And then if you want more, you just turn it up like that, or you turn it down. Like so. As the gas is coming out, the wire is making a short circuit on the steel that you're welding, and it's shielding it as you're putting the weld in. And as you get used to welding, guys, you can adjust this up and down to have the gas flow that you need. It makes a difference to your welding. It make quite a difference, actually, but once you get used to it, it's fine. Like I say, guys, I'm running a heater through this. just makes it weld a little bit better. Right, yeah, guys, now I'll show you a little bit of welding using the CO2. Right, uh, guys, we'll just weld a couple of bits of four mil plate together using the CO2 as a gas. There you go, guys, rough enough. Look at that, it sticks on there, it doesn't look too bad at all. Now, I've done nothing else, guys, but I can turn the CO2 off. See where I ran out of CO2 on the hose. Now look at that. That is really, really horrible. It hasn't even welded it. It's sort of like burnt it. But it hasn't even joined the two metals together, if you can see that, guys. So that's the first weld, guys, with the CO2. And that's the second weld when I turn the CO2 off. You can see what's happening. See that um, this one here is not even welded properly. It's just sort of burnt into the steel. Whereas that one there is actually welded. So that's the importance of the uh, gas, guys. 
Now, I know what you're thinking, guys. I don't want one of those big gas cylinders, and I don't want to have to pay to hire stuff and all the rest of it. And, of course, you don't have to either. You don't have to have uh, shielding gas. You can use this sort of wire here, which is like, like a it's flux cord wire. It's like solder, and it has flux already in it, and that negates the need for the gas. So depending how much welding you're doing, like I was doing a hell of a lot of welding, so I just wanted a big gas bottle. But if you're only doing a little bit in your workshop every now and then, and you don't go through too much wire, then I'd be using a flux core like this. Anyway, guys, I'll do a video later on about flux core welding, and I'll run some flux core through that welder, and I'll show you how it goes without the gas. So, guys, I told you that was going to be short and sweet. Is um, my God, Pete, normally you go on and on and on, but there you go, short and sweet. Pete, straight to the point today. Anyway, guys, same as usual. You like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. Come say good day at peachtools.com and watch out for welding with flux core wire. I'll do one of them next time. Anyway, guys, see you later. Take care. Peachtools.com. Peach